the webinar is called the CEO of you, of course, in terms of agility and resilience. In terms of careers, Claire, what does that mean to you? You know, in terms of graduates who are going into the workforce, maybe just starting out in the workforce, what does sort of being the CEO of your own career actually mean in a very practical way? Okay, so to me, um, CEO of me um, means you're in charge of your own career and your destiny. It's actually up to you as an individual and a graduate to determine what career path you want to take. And even to the point of how you work, where you want to work, who you want to work for, because you actually are applying those connections with people to get work or applying for a work. Of course, with businesses, they're not always going to be as adaptable as what you want to be. And particularly for the younger students in the group who are used to changing and wanting to change all the time, I think it's really important that you still respect employers, but you sell the pros of doing things the way you want to do it. The other thing that I think is really important as a CEO of yourself, so in charge of yourself, is setting boundaries. And I say this in that particularly to the workaholics in the group <laughs> who, um, who love working or love assignments, <laughs> it's actually about yourself. You've actually got to set your hours yourself that you're going to be engaged in work on something or else you burn out and you'll burn out several times in your career because with all organisations, whether it be government or private business, they will want you to do as much as you possibly can and more. <laughs> And so I feel that the boundary has to be yourself. But be flexible. And one of the other things I think as CEO is that you might become CEO of you, but not in the industry that you expected. Mm. So, so quite often it might be that you take opportunities as they present in an area that you don't have skills, but you're in charge of that destiny, so, so try it. So use your strengths, communicate, negotiate. Teamwork is really, really important. And um, give yourself a pat on the back, reward yourself for those achievements that you do along the way and those of others, you know, like go and have a celebratory um, dinner out if you've got a new job or achieved something in your career. Don't forget to reward yourself. Yeah, ce celebrate even the small wins, right? Because they, they are the ones that keep you going towards some of the bigger goals. Yeah, um, that's right. So one of the, the skill sets, uh, Claire, you know, is around being agile. Um, again, when it comes to your own career, developing your own career, looking at job, what is... When I say agile, what does that sort of mean to you? How does it, um, how does agility help someone when it comes to things like managing the amount of change that's happening in the workplace or when there's sort of failure or setbacks? You want something, but you don't get it. You know, yeah. what does agility for you practically look like and, and how have you applied it? Okay, so agility to me means being adaptable and embracing change, you know, and that. That sometimes people talk about agility being quick or pivoting, you know, in that space. I see it happening across all different ways. And I guess I'd like to talk to about three different examples. So I see that change of work location, which I've talked about before, you know, the way that you walk, where you work. But it might even be in something like a meeting. So a meeting might be something like here, we have a Zoom meeting and that's very popular nowadays. But what about a walk and talk with a one-on personal evaluation to get some feedback with the team member or a, um, a member, uh, your manager? Or 
go to a coffee shop and have a coffee with someone in the team to get them in a relaxed mode. So it's about that agility to think differently and not rigidly that you've got to be in an office, indoors, doing something, you know. Um, I guess another area I see is change of role. Try, try things that you don't even think you might be good at, but you want to just try it. Mm. I mean, I can give you an example of that in that I actually, when I was with City of Newcastle, ended up as the City Structures Coordinator for a while. And the position is usually run with someone with engineering skills and an engineering degree. And I thought, how am I going to do this? But I worked as a systems person in the team. And so what I learned from that leadership role is actually I didn't need the skills. The skills were in the team. They were engineers. And so it's relying on each other for those skills. So in a lot of leadership positions, you have to be agile in that you're relying on others and bringing in skills from those people and making decisions from everybody's knowledge. So, and, and how, and uh, the last, yeah, sorry, sorry, Claire, go ahead, finish your point. The, the last one is really changing how we do things. So, streamlining the processes. And nowadays, it's about introducing tech or digital wherever we can. COVID's enabled us to do that. So um, I think in the IT space, we talk about sprint delivery of projects and you might see sprint delivery of apps coming out. And certainly the interchange program is encouraging um, that mindset of thinking quick. It's about giving out functionality of small parcels of things to businesses and people early so that they can mould the product or the service with time. And that thinking is that agility. 